The Apple car will overtake Tesla. Apple has been working on its Titan self-driving car project for a number of years. More than 5,000 engineers are reportedly working on the project, and recent leaks reveal that Apple was already in discussions with producers of electric vehicles to create the Apple car. Apple was in discussions to create the Apple car even before the first iPhone was introduced. The creator of the car, a lightweight petroleum-powered vehicle that made use of less expensive components and could be purchased for just $14,000, met with Steve Jobs in 2010. Because a glass fiber vehicle was 40% lighter and 70% cheaper to construct than a typical steel-made vehicle, Jobs saw enormous potential in it. In the event, Jobs chose to concentrate on the launch of the iPhone, which is today recognized as Apple's most profitable device. Apple resumed considering the development of the Apple car after the success of the iPhone. With the goal of creating the ultimate mobile device, a compelling smart car, Apple launched the Project Titan in 2014. This would be revealed in February 2015 when a camera gear was seen placed on a strange van that Apple had leased. A few days later, an anonymous Apple insider warned Elon Musk that Project Titan would, quote, give Tesla a run for its money, adding that even Tesla personnel were moving to Apple because the project was too exciting to pass. A few weeks later, Apple hired Johan Jungwirth, a former research and development executive for Mercedes-Benz. Soon later, the Wall Street Journal verified that Apple was also working on an electric car in addition to developing the software for self-driving cars. According to the article, Apple was developing an electric minivan and Tim Cook had already given Project Titan Steve Zadesky permission to hire up to 1,000 people. Then Apple met with producers of high-end vehicles like Magnus Theater. Apple's Magnus concept car made it clear that the company wanted to design a sleek-looking SUV. The SUV was supposed to contain a range of innovations such as silent motorized doors that could be operated with an iPhone user interface and were similar to minivan sliding doors. Apple also investigated the possibility of integrating augmented reality into the car's displays. The most bizarre aspect, though, is that Apple is considering using spherical wheels. This would be akin to the 2004 Audi announcement. Spherical wheels for the Apple car would be an intriguing complement to its Audi concept. It would also be quite expensive at the same time. Apple is considering employing spherical tires for the Apple car. Goodyear presented its concept for spherical tires in 2016. This makes me think that Apple and Goodyear will probably collaborate on the Apple car. While Apple did have some illogical goals, there were also numerous internal issues. Steve Zadesky abruptly announced that he will be leaving the Titan project due to certain internal problems. Bob Mansfield, a former executive of Apple, came out of retirement in 2012 to take charge of Project Titan. Mansfield refocused Project Titan to create the self-driving software for the Apple car, laid off scores of Apple staff, and changed the project's direction to an internal relaunch. Apple switched its attention away from making electric cars and toward developing autonomous driving software. Apple was caught testing its autonomous driving system with Lexus SUVs after receiving a permit from the California DMV. In all honesty, the self-driving during the testing in 2017 was extremely choppy. Additionally, Apple rented out the Gumentum Stadium testing facility in Concord, California. We had to sign a non-disclosure agreement with Apple. We can't tell you anything other than they've come in and they're interested, Gumentum Stadium owner Randy Iwasaki said. Apple is said to be renting out a testing facility in Arizona by the name of Route 14 in addition to Gumentum Stadium. During this time, Apple and Volkswagen formally agreed to collaborate on the installation of Apple's self-driving software in Volkswagen T6 transporter vans. Now, that isn't to say that Apple isn't creating its own vehicle, because the company certainly is. In August 2018, new speculation surfaced suggesting that Apple was considering building a car. According to Ming-Chi, who is generally dependable, Apple would unveil an EV as soon as 2023. At the same time, Dogfield, Tesla's senior vice president of engineering, departed a company to work for Apple. Apple terminated 200 staff from Project Titan three months later. 
Given that Dogfield wanted to reorganize Projects Titan for the creation of the Apple car, this was not unexpected. Elon Musk got interested when it became clear that Apple intended to compete with Tesla at this time. Elon Musk is in favor of the development of electric vehicle technology and genuinely wishes Apple success. The car industry is big enough for other companies to flourish, and Elon will be relieved that his aim has been accomplished if Apple or another car creates an EV that is highly appealing. It's hardly surprising that other automakers tried to steal trade secrets from Apple because its self-driving research was kept under wraps. In July 2018, Xiao Zhang, a former employee of Apple, admitted to stealing two of the company's circuit boards, a Linux server, and airdropping files from the company's computers. Following that theft, a different employee was detained in January 2019. The employee was seen photographing Apple's covert workspace, which contains instructions, schematics, and dramatics for the car industry. He was seeking to divulge these techniques to X-Pang Motors, a business that aims to produce interesting self-driving electric vehicles. Apple is now concerned that these individuals will try to escape the country before appearing in court. The outcome of these legal proceedings must be determined, but for Apple's former employees, the situation does not appear promising at the moment. According to a German story from February 2019, the Apple car would become an electric van in four months. Following that, Apple purchased Drive.ai, a self-driving startup intending to build a self-driving shuttle in June 2019. Drive.ai's acquisition and the German news both support the hypothesis that the Apple car will be a type of electric van. Most lately, there have been numerous leaks suggesting when and possible design elements for an Apple car. According to recent sources, Apple already has a plant in the US, a production schedule, and anticipated technology and specifications for the Apple car. Apple may possibly have started talking to a major supplier of electric vehicles. Additionally, the Apple car deployment has reportedly started, according to the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. For instance, Apple and ST Microelectronics have begun working together, which may be related to the development of a self-driving microprocessor for the Apple car. Based on the car, the Apple car's design is reminiscent of Tesla's automobiles. Given that Apple has employed numerous Tesla engineers, this shouldn't come as a huge surprise. Apple actually engaged Steve McManus, a former Tesla engineer, to oversee the design of the interior and outside of the Apple car. Although no one has the actual specs for the Apple car, we can get a good car of what they will be. Apple confirmed in 2017 that it will collaborate with the same company that is collaborating with Tesla to build a Model 3 that is built in China, Modern Amphorex Technologies Limited. This prompts me to assume that the Apple car will have an EPA range of between 300 and 400 miles. The patents Apple has filed also suggest some unique ideas. For instance, it is rumored that the Apple car will include a sunroof that will likely be made of a large glass panel. These patents indicate that this sunroof may be multi-segmented and may even be raised via a sliding mechanism. Another intriguing feature described in the patent is an anti-glare windshield that blocks glare-producing sections of the windshield while leaving the remaining transparent. Even more intriguing are Apple's patents for a smart seat belt. Although it may seem absurd at first, this function could be useful. Consider how effortless it would be to change the music by clicking a button on your seat belt if it were integrated with the Apple ecosystem. Apple may also include illuminated seats that instruct you on how to sit in the most comfortable position or even remind you to fasten your seat belt. The Apple car either sounds futuristic or pointless at this time. But it gets even weirder than that, as evidenced by Apple's passenger door patents, which hint to the possibility of sliding doors in the Apple car. Given that it would require a lot of areas, I don't think this one is really feasible. Apple has stated that it plans to work with or buy battery suppliers to produce its own batteries in order to scale up the production of the Apple car. This is because the business wants to produce the Apple car on a large scale. 
In 2021, Apple will release a comprehensive list of its suppliers. The Apple vehicles are finally expected to enter mass manufacturing in 2024 or 2025, which is rather disappointing considering that it was previously anticipated to enter mass production in 2020 or 2021. This is probably due to the fact that Apple's engineers underestimated the amount of time needed to scale up both the car's manufacture and the development of the self-driving software.